Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Today Isle. I'm Clixin, and today I'm going to carve a... Mm, let's call it a classy jack-o'-lantern with power tools. But to begin, of course, we have to cut it just like we would a normal jack-o'-lantern. So we're going to cut around the stem at the top and start scooping. Yes, we're going to get all those guts out. Now, the guts contain something really cool. Okay, every time I cut into a pumpkin like this, I'm amazed at how many seeds are inside. You know, each one of these seeds could become, I don't know, three or four or five new pumpkins. And there's thousands of them. Like, holy. Nature's amazing. Anyway, save those seeds because you can cook those up and make some really good roasted pumpkin seeds. Pepitas. Delicious. I'm reserving them here on the newspaper. You want a newspaper for this because this gets messy. Very, very messy. So, once you've got that, you're going to want your uh, your power tool bits. Uh, you're going to need three or four different sizes. I'm going to start with the biggest ones. And just going to basically trace the equator of this pumpkin. Don't go too fast, or you'll rip the hole apart. Um... That sounds terribly, terribly inappropriate, but what I mean is if you go with too much speed, you will make a mess. So just take it slow. It's a pumpkin. It's not concrete. It doesn't need a lot of effort. I'm basically going to do two rows, one above the other, and go all the way around. And this is with the biggest drill bit. Whoever thought, you know, carving a pumpkin with power tools? Can it be? As you can see, though, it's very messy. They got pumpkin sawdust flying in every direction. It's insane. Mm, glad my wife is not in the room or she would murder me. I, I did a very good job cleaning up, though, so... As long as you're willing to put in the time, the effort is worth it. Although, you could probably do this outside. <laughs> Hindsight is twenty twenty. Don't stress too much about the spacing. It doesn't have to be perfect. You you won't see any mistakes that you make. Uh, it's 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 a really cool design. I'll sh I'll show you here. So I've got that first row done. Let's put on the next size down bit. I decided to opt for quite a bit smaller just to give it more diversity. So and then we're gonna do this same pattern but above it. So. Holes. We're going to do two rows of holes that are a little bit smaller on top of the larger holes. You could go below, but it's really hard to work with it down, down that far down. So I'm just doing it from the middle up, and it looks fantastic. So you really don't have to uh, slave away at trying to do the, the lower end of things. It's not necessary. These are spade bits, by the way, um, so if you have a, a drill that can handle bigger normal size bits, than, or normal type of bits, then you're welcome to use those, but the spade bit works better for larger holes here. But I've almost got that next row completed, so I'm going to switch out to a one size down bit, which is actually just a regular drill bit. Actually goes a lot smoother. And we're going to do the same thing. Two rows of these smaller holes. These are the smallest holes. Pumpkin flying everywhere! It actually makes cool kind of like, I don't know, pumpkin spaghetti. It's Or, or almost like a... Uh, Hmm, kind of like a Scooby-Doo noodle, if you know what that is. I didn't save it, though. I'm. Just... Who knows where this drill's been? <laughs> I 
And you can go to town with this part and fill in any, like, voids if you if you missed a couple spots or if you've got a bigger gap between some holes. You can use this particular bit to fill in any holes. Starting to take shape. I'm just uh, fixing that second hole that I did when I was going a little too fast. Make it a little more smooth. There you go. Take a look. So here's what the finished product looks like. Yeah. I think it looks pretty spiffy, but it's still light out, so we're gonna need to wait and see what it looks like in the dark. So I'm gonna get some candles. I'm gonna get four like uh, tea lights and stick those inside, yeah. and we'll be all set. With those candles lit, that's not too bad. I think that looks great. I'll get a couple of stills when it's dark, and you can take a look and see what it looks like as a lantern. Fantastic. Check that out. So go ahead and try this yourself. It's messy, but it looks really cool, and it's quite classy, I think. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.